The American debut was everything that I hoped it would be. You know, I had fun out there. It was a great 10 days um, and a great night. You know, I'll come away from there with a W. A lot of people go out to America and sometimes get put down or may even lose. You know, I went out there, got a unanimous decision win. Um, so, you know, it's everything that I would have hoped it for. I never had that big amateur background. I never boxed in the World Championships. I never boxed, you know, for any big titles. So I'm learning literally as I go on the road. And boxing is the toughest game in the world, in my, in my opinion. And I'm trying to do that on the back of no experience. And going out to America without my trainer, you know, it's, and, and get the win as well. And look all right doing so. I want the best, but I got the win. And that's all that matters. You know, I wanted the sensational knockout, you know, out cold, me standing on top rope. But, you know, we've got to be thankful for what we've got. I'm still undefeated. I'm still doing well. You know, I'm fit. I'm healthy. You know, I've just boxed in America. So, we, you know, we've got to take the good when it comes. But coming back to the corner and, you know, not seeing me dad or not hearing him from the sidelines or not knowing what to do really. You know, it, it was it was a weird experience, but you know, I'm happy it's I'm happy it's done because now it's in the arsenal. When I go out there again, I'll know what to do this time and I'll be a bit more familiar with it. But you know, it was my American debut and it was something to learn, tick off, put in the arsenal. Now it's in there. When I go out there next time, it'll be underway. He come down the corridor, he was, he was acting the big guy I am. I was, I was in, doing an interview with BT and it, I turned around, he was coming and that was it. I thought, listen, if he's going to say anything, he's going to say it now. So we squared up, just had a little bit of chip for tap, but I seen something in his eyes and I seen it there and then. When we, when we squared up, I looked at him and he doesn't want no part of me, definitely not. And I seen plenty of fear in his eyes and he had about 40 security guards around him and everything and there was still fear, fear in his eyes. You know, always looking away, looking down. I put it on him, I said, you need to stop running and take the fight. And he's like, oh, oh. It's what he is. He's a cash cow, you know, fair play to him, good luck to him. He's made plenty of money, he's doing well for himself. But when you call my name, you've got to be ready to step up and, you know, fight and show everyone that you're ready. I went to points with his sparring partner, so it shouldn't be, it should be light work for him, really, shouldn't it? So we'll see, we'll see. I mean, he's not a man who's short for cash. Of course, it's a big fight and he knows that. And that's the reason why I was on his undercard. He knows how big this fight is. And he knows that fighting me, he gets a bit more credit. Even win, lose, or draw, he still gets credit through fighting me because he stepped up to the plate and he's fought somebody who's been doing it a long time. So, you know, it's a, it's a win-win. Because even if he lost to me, I don't think he will get that discredited. I think he'd get more credit for fighting me. So we'll see. We'll see where his head's at.